Welcome to the class. Today's class is about analysis of univariate data in that we are going to solve the problems on properties of arithmetic mean. Properties of arithmetic mean. I will write down the problem first. So, the mean age of a group of 40 students is 16 years and the mean age of another group of 60 students is 20 years find the mean age of 100 students together. See in this problem they have given two groups that is age group of one age group is 40 students is one group and that mean that is average is 16 years and we have another group group of 60 students and that mean age is 20 years we have to find the mean of or mean age of total 100 students together that is this type of problem we call it as combined arithmetic mean that is we have to combine or we have to calculate the we will uh, using the two uh, means we are going to calculate a single mean that is combined arithmetic mean. First we will see whatever the data they have given. I will take group first group and the second group. In first group in this group so a group of 40 students so that numbers we call it as n1 sample that is 40 and the mean is 16 years that is x bar of 1 is 16 years. Similarly for second group it is n2 60 students and uh, mean of this is that is x bar of 2 is 20 years so that now we have to calculate the mean of total 100 students and the formula to find a combined arithmetic mean is n1 x bar 1 plus n2 x bar 2 divided by n1 plus n2 so x bar of this is this is the formula to find the combined arithmetic mean. If we have 3 samples or a 3 n values or 3 means then the formula will be extended to next number that is n1 x bar 1 plus n2 x bar 2 plus n3 x bar 3 divided by n1 plus n2 plus n3. Now for this we are going to substitute the values that is 40 into 16 plus 16 into 20 divided by n1 plus n2 40 plus 60 so x bar of c is equal to if we simplify this it is 640 plus 1200 divided by 100 and x bar of c is 18.4 years and the combined arithmetic mean of 100 students is 18.4 years Next one, the mean marks of students in two sections a and B of a class is 62. The mean marks of students in section A is 70. If the number of students 
in section A and the section B are 30 and 35 respectively respectively then find the mean marks of students in section B. You just see the data first. They have given the mean marks of the students in two sections A and B. Here we have two sections. One is section A and section B. We have two sections and number of students in section A and section B they have mentioned and the mean of this also we have to see. In section A, see the mean marks of students of two sections A and B of a class is 62. That is they are already given the combined arithmetic mean. Both A and B they have already given that is x bar of C is 62. Next, the mean marks of students in section A, that is section A, the mean marks is 70. The mean marks of section A, that is x bar 1, it is 70. Next, if the number of students in section A and B are 30 and 35 respectively, that is for section A it is 30 and for section B it is 35. 30 and 35. So, find the mean marks of the students in section B. That is, we do, we have to calculate the mean marks of section B. They have given the combined arithmetic mean. For this, again the formula is same. You just substitute the values and simplify. First, I will substitute this is 62. N1 is 30 into x bar 1 is 70 plus N2 is 35. We don't know x bar 2, I will take as it is n1 plus n2, 30 plus 35. 62 is equal to plus 35 x bar 2 divided by 65. Now you take the cross multiplication. 62 into 65 is equal to 210, 2100. 35 x bar 2 then 35 x bar 2 is equal to 4030 minus 2100. I will shift this to this side. So 35 x bar 2 is equal to 1930 x bar 2 is equal to 1930 divided by 35. So x bar 2 value is 55.5. So, the mean marks, the mean marks of section B is 55.14. Next. They have given the data like this given the following data size in bracket it is number this is boys girls and this is N1 they have not given girls it is 25 and mean weight kgs 5340 if combined mean weight is 47.58 kg 47.58 kg find the find number of boys 
that is m1. See, this is the problem they have given in this problem size. Size is nothing but the numbers, observations. Here they have not given the number of observations or a size of boys and girls it is 25 and mean age, weight of boys is 53 and for girls it is 40. So, since this is mean weight, this can be written as, okay, I will write here only boys, girls and N1 we do not know, N2 is equal to 25, X bar 1 is equal to 53, 53, yes, and X bar 2 is equal to 40, and combined mean weight, combined mean weight is 47.58, that is bar of C is 47.58. 5, 8 kgs, substitute the values, the formula will be same, this is N1, we do not know, I will write as it is, into 53 plus N2 is 25 into 40 divided by N1, we do not know, plus 25. After substituting, simplify the data, take the cross multiplication. It is 47.58 into N1 plus 25 is equal to N1 53 plus 1000. It is 47.58 N1 plus 1189.5 53 N1 plus 1000 and uh, 1189.5. I will shift this 1000 to this side, it will become minus and 53 n1 and I'll shift this to this side this will be a minus 58 n1 so the difference is 118.5 is equal to 5.42 n1 n1 is equal to take the division 5.42 so your n1 value is 34.96 or approximately it is 35 so, number of students or as number of boys in the given data is approximately 35. Thank you.